Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about the IP addresses. Let us understand what is IP address. The IP addresses are useful in identifying a specific host in a computer network. To identify a particular computer in a network, we need IP address. The IP address are 32 bits number, which are divided in 4 octet. 8 multiplied by 4, total 32 bits. Each octet represents 8 bit binary number. See, this is the example. So 10101100 denotes in decimal 172. Similar like here, 00010000 denotes in decimal 16. Likewise, others. So, this four part of octet 172.16.254.1 is a IP address. IP addresses are divided in two parts. The first one is network ID and second is host ID. Let us discuss what is network ID and host ID. Based on that, we categorize the class. Here, the classification of IP addresses means classful addressing. In that, we have categorized five class. Class A to class E. Let's understand the class A. In class A, the four octet. See, this is first octet, second, third and fourth. In that, the first bit of first octet is fixed, zero. Remaining seven bit denotes as a network ID. And rest of the 24 bits means 8 plus 8 plus 8. Total 24 bit is host ID. Similar in class B. The first two bit of first octet is fixed, one and zero. So remaining 14 bits is network ID. And other 16 bit is host ID. In class C, the first 3 bit of first octet is fixed 1, 1, 0. So remaining bits in first, second, and third octet is 21 bits is network ID and 8 bit used for the host ID. In class D, the first 4 bit is fixed. 1, 1, 1, 0 in first octet. So, the remaining bits are used for the multicast address. So, in short, we can say the class D IP addresses used in multicast addresses. Class E, the 4 bit of first octet 1, 1, 1, 1 is fixed and remain bits are used for the reserved address. In short, we can say the class E is used for the reserved address addresses. Now let us understand each class individually. In class A, it starts from the 0 0.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0 to 127.255.255.255. Let us understand how it comes. See, the first bit is fixed. The remaining bit is network ID and other three octet bits are used as a host ID. 24 bits. So, here 2 raised to 7. It means 128 bit. Only 126 addresses are used for the network addresses. So, from network ID, we can calculate the network addresses. In that, all zeros and 1 in network ID are dedicated for the special addresses. So, that Total number of the IP addresses in class A can be represented in this table. So 0 0.0.0.0, .0, 0 .0, it is first address of class A, noted as special IP address. Similar, the last address also noted as a special IP address, known as a loopback. In between, from 1.0.0.0, this is in binary form and afterwards we denote as a decimal form. So it is easy to understand by you. Here the total 24 bits means 2 raised to 24 minus 2 means this address and this address. So total number of the IP address for host 2 raised to 24 minus 
two. So the range of the class A IP address starting from the 0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 to 127.255.255.255. Now let's discuss the class B. First two bit in first octet denote 10, which is fixed, and remaining 14 bits used in network ID. 16 bit in last two octet used as a host ID. So in that no special network address here. The all are usable. Let us see the addresses in this table. The first address it is starting from the 128.0.0.0. This is first address of class B, which is special IP address. And the last address is 191. Here this binary denotes as a 191. 0 0.255, 0 0.255, 0 0.255 which is special IP address. In that, the remaining IPs 100.0.0.0.0.1.0.0.1.2.190.255.255.254 Total 2 raised to 16 means the host ID 16 bit. So over here, the IP address for the host 2 raised to 16 minus 2. Minus 2 means the first and this second. So total host IP are 2 raised to 16 minus 2. So the range of class B is 128.0.0.0 to 191.255.255.255. Now let us understand class C. In class C, it is starting range from the 192.0.0.0 to 223.255.255.255. Here, the first 3 bit of first octet is fixed, 110. And remaining 21 bits in first 3 octet used for the network ID and last octet 8 bit used for the host ID. So here in this table the first IP address 192.0.0.0 used for the special IP address and the last 110.11111.255.255.255 its binary denote as a 223. So this address used as a special IP address. So total host IP in this class, total we have host ID is 8 bit. So 2 raised to 8 minus 2. First address and second address. So we subtract this two IP. So total host IP are 2 raised to 8 minus 2. Let us discuss class D. In class D, very first 4 bit of first octet in class D, IP addresses are set to 110. It means the first 4 bit in first octet is fixed 1110. The range of class D is 224 to 239. Means 224.0.0.0 to 239.255.255.255. Here, the octet means 8 bit. So 2 raised to 8 means 256 0 to 255 so the range is 0 to 255 the class d is reserved for the multicasting here in multicasting data is not destined for a particular host so that's why we doesn't need any host addresses from the ip address and the class c d doesn't have any subnet mask. Now the range of class C is 240.0.0.0.255.255.255.255. This class is reserved for the experimental purpose only, used only for the R&D, research and development or in academics. IP addresses in this class range from 240.0.0.0 to 255.255.255.255 .255 .255 .255 .255 like class D. 
This class is not equipped with any subnet mask. Classified these IP addresses in these five categories, class A to class E.